Day for a community in Lackawanna County in shock after the death of a five year old boy. Police say the boyfriend of the little boy's mother critically injured the child before he died on Wednesday. Newswatch 16's Melissa Steininger joins us with how the Carbondale community is coping. Melissa. Scott Lisa, the five year old, was a kindergartner at the Carbondale Area School District. School officials there were holding back tears today. As they spoke about the boy, they referred to as the little mayor of their school. The staff, just like neighbors of the family, are trying to wrap their heads around this tragic loss. From what I hear from staff and students, uh, he was a wonderful young man. The Carbondale School District community working through the loss of a kindergartner after the five-year-old died earlier this week. The school has grief counselors on hand, helping their students and staff deal with the tragic loss. The teachers just by nature and paraprofessionals and anybody who works within the school community, uh, you're just naturally there for kids. And you want to do the best by kids and be as helpful for kids as what you can, support them in, in every meaning of the word. The little boy died Wednesday after being treated for a traumatic brain injury at Janet Weiss Children's Hospital in Danville. Police believe Devin Boone, the boyfriend of the boy's mother, punched and threw the child at an apartment inside Summit Gardens in Carbondale. Neighbors, some who didn't want to be identified, in disbelief. Because when I heard it on it was some Summit Gardens, I'm like, oh my God, really? So, uh, yeah, it's terrible. I didn't believe it at first. I don't know the full story, but it's a tragedy and a young child. Boone told investigators he and the child were play fighting this past Saturday, and a short time later, the boy began having trouble breathing. It's sad to see a parent you, a parent you don't play fight with, especially a little kid like that. Boone was charged with aggravated assault and endangering the welfare of a child. He was arraigned on Tuesday. However, the manner on how the boy died has yet to be determined. I think justice should be done for what he did to that for that little child. I, th I know he's in jail. I believe he's in jail, and I think that's where he should be. Uh, he just he deserves what he gets. Again, Boone has not been charged with the child's death. We reached out to the district attorney to see if we could expect any upgraded or additional charges, but we were told the DA couldn't comment because it's an active and ongoing investigation. The boy's autopsy is scheduled for tomorrow. Scott, Lisa.